Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am Mr. Photographer.com. Recently, Skylim Software has updated Luminar 4.0 to Luminar 4.1. In this video, we're going to talk about what's new and significant in this latest version of Luminar. Skylim Software has published a blog post, and in this blog post, they list everything that's new, improved, and fixed in Luminar 4.1. In this video, I'm going to just cover the first five things listed, but there's a lot more uh, minor enhancements to the application. If you're interested, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to this blog post. I encourage you to read it. Yesterday, I did a video on Luminar, and somebody emailed me and said, I see you're still using Luminar 4.0. Why aren't you updated to 4.1? Well, the reason was because I didn't know there was an update. I guess I was under the impression that when I open up Luminar, it's going to tell me when an update was available. Well, apparently my version didn't tell me. So make sure you're using the current version of Luminar. Periodically, if you have a Mac, go up to the Luminar 4 menu and go down to check for updates. That's what I had to do to get this update. Now, if you have a Windows machine, I'm not sure where that is. I think it might be under the help menu. If I'm wrong, in the comments below, please correct me and let me know where that check for updates is on a Windows computer. All right, I mentioned we're going to go kind of in order of what's on that blog post. The first kind of significant enhancement to Luminar 4.1 is a slight change in the hay or uh, the sky filter. They now have a atmospheric haze slider in it and as you can see I have this image here and there's some atmospheric haze in the shot and the sky is very boring so we're going to go to the creative panel we're going to go to the AI sky replacement filter and I'm just going to go to sky selection I'm just going to pick the first blue sky one there and you can see once it replaces it I mean it kind of looks okay but the original image has a lot of haze in it and the new sky doesn't. Now there's this new slider. Go to advanced setting and you can see atmospheric haze slider right here. So if you move that to the right, uh, once it renders, you can see that it will add haze to the replacement sky. And very quickly, let's do another one. We have this image here, it has a ton of haze in it. And we'll go up to sky selection and I'm just going to be boring and pick the same exact sky because it's convenient. Replace the sky. We'll go down to add the atmospheric haze slider, move that to the right, and you can see you added haze to the sky. And then from this point on, you could process the image as you normally would. So that's the first new feature, is that new atmospheric haze slider in the AI sky replacement filter. In Luminar 4.1, they've improved the portrait enhancer filter. Those of you know that watch my videos, I'm super impressed with the portrait enhancer filter. It does a great job. The one thing though it does sometimes fail at is when you have multiple faces in a scene, it can't discern each individual face. Or even if you have maybe one or two faces, but the faces are relatively small in the shot, it doesn't always see the faces. Well, they've improved all that with this enhancement or in this version of Luminar. So we'll go to the portrait enhancer panel and we'll go to the portrait enhancer filter and you can see that I have this image and there's four faces in it. And just to sh quickly show you that it will see all faces, if I move face light to the right, you'll see that it brightened all four of their faces. So it definitely sees all of them. You could go through and improve their individual eyebrows and so on. Uh, let's try slim face, move that to the right. And you can see it sees all of them. It improved or it slimmed all, the, all their faces, not improved. It made them look like they don't have teeth. You see the idea there. So it's seeing all the faces. So that's a definite update and improvement to this specific filter, in my opinion. In Luminar 4.1, they've improved the erase tool. It now does a better job of looking at surrounding pixels and replacing whatever it is you want to replace or erase whatever it is you want to erase in the image. To get to the erase tool, it's under the canvas panel and we'll go to the erase tool itself and it's going to prepare the image for the erase operation. Now as far as your operation of the tool, none of that has changed. You use the bracket keys to make the brush larger and smaller and over, you know, you just go over something you want to erase and you just paint over it. 
and we'll take away this. I think this is a mallard duck over here. So we have that painted on the duck. We'll go up to the erase button and we'll click there and it will erase the mallard duck. And you can see it did a great job. Now we'll go, we'll do this Canada goose as well. So we'll go over here and then we'll go to erase. And I do recommend that if you are erasing multiple objects from an image that you do them individually. Uh, don't paint on all, let's three of these uh, waterfowl and then hit erase. I found that the erase tool works best when you do everything one by one. It takes a little more time, but it does a better job. And you can see that erased that mallard duck and that Canada goose from existence. So definite improvement with the eraser. A new addition to Luminar 4.1 is they uh, added an adjustments amount slider to each layer. Now I have this image here and all I really did to it is I did the AI enhance filter to it. But if I go up to the layers panel, you can see that there's an adjustment amount slider. So if you're adjusting an image and you find that you're maybe overdoing it, you could just dial it back. Uh, for a better example, maybe I'll uh, add a new adjustment layer. And on my new adjustment layer, I'll, um, I'll add a look. One of my looks that I sell. Let's add uh, let's, this one. Um, we'll see what that looks like. All right, so we added this look uh, to the image. But now that adjustment layer has the uh, adjustments amount slider. So if I think this look is a little bit too heavy, a little bit too overdone, I could dial it back with that slider. So that's a new improvement or a new addition uh, to the layers panel. Now, additionally, if you're in the habit of adding another image to an image, uh, most often you would do that with a the texture, there's another slider there. So we're gonna go to uh, add new image layer. And on my desktop, I have a texture and we'll add that. And that has an image opacity slider there as well. So you can see the textures on there at 100%. But now I could kind of just kind of dial that down, bring that texture down, and help it blend better. Now, if I do any adjustments on this texture layer, I could move the adjustments amount slider as well. I don't have any adjustments there. So right now it doesn't, you know, it's grayed out. But that is new in Luminar 4.1. And the last thing I'm going to talk about in this video is they added a new panoramic aspect ratio. We'll go to the crop tool and in the crop tool over on this left hand side you'll see aspect and if you click there you'll see that there's now an aspect ratio 21 to 9 so you get this kind of uh, panoramic um, aspect ratio. If you want to go vertical as well, you could see it's down here 9 to 21, but we're going to stick with that 21 to 9 on this image, then you could click done. So the reason why Skylum did this is because a lot of labs have the ability to print to a 21 to 9 aspect ratio. So you could uh, get this kind of panoramic print directly from a lab. So adding the aspect ratio to the crop tool allows you to crop your image into that aspect ratio so that you know exactly what you're going to get printed when you get your image printed at the lab. So that's what I consider to be the significant updates to Luminar 4.1. Again, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to that blog post. And in that blog post, they talk about everything that's new, fixed, and added to Luminar 4.1. Um, also, I want to mention that Luminar 4.1 is a free update to those that own Luminar 4. So if you own Luminar 3, you're not going to get the update for free. In the, in the description below this video, I have a link to Skylum's website. I have a discount code. If you're interested in purchasing Luminar, check it out and you could save a few dollars with my discount code. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Mm -hmm.